Welcome back to another Open Broadcaster tutorial. Before we get too far into this, there's just a couple things I want to say. First off, I am sick. I am still sick. I am starting to lose my voice, so sorry for that. You're just going to have to put up with an odd-sounding Neocryptor for probably another episode or so. Hopefully only that long. And beyond that, I just wanted to say this will be quite a bit shorter than the last one because I know that last one was a monster. I wish there was a way f that I could have made it shorter, but unfortunately, just given the amount of content and getting it set up, there was just no way I could do it. All right, let's jump right in. Today, we are going to talk about profiles, what they are, how to set them up, and you know, a good way to use them. And we're also going to touch on plugins for OBS, where to get them, how to install them, and just kind of run over some of the options that are available. All right, let's jump right in uh, to profiles. So if you noticed up here uh, in the last episode, there was profiles, but yeah, I never clicked it. If you click it, there's just default. Lonely little default just sitting there. Everybody wave at default. Hi. All right, so moving along, if we click on settings, we go under general. This is where default lives. We're going to change default because that's a bad name. This contains all the hitbox information that we inputted last time. We're just going to click rename and be done with it. So if we go into broadcast setting, you know, there's all of our hitbox TV information that we added to it in the last tutorial. All right, so let's add a new one. Okay, let's call this one hmm, file only. And click add. Cool. We just added a profile. Well, what does that do? Hmm. Well, profiles, what they do are they allow you to save your settings for different things. So in this instance, we have Hitbox TV and now we have file only. File only is going to be currently a mirror or an exact copy of the uh, Hitbox one. So, you know, there's all of our Hitbox information. Now, what we're going to do though, we're just going to change it to say file output only. So we're only going to save to local disk. That's it, no streaming. And we're going to click apply and that all looks good. So, if we go back here, hit choose Hitbox, go back to broadcast, there's that. If we go back, change it back to file only, there's that. Awesome. Uh, now, the reason it copies the previous profile settings over to the new profile is so if you just want to adjust one thing, you know, change who you're streaming to, or, you know, in this case, change it to where it's only going to output to a file, you don't have to go through and reconfigure the entire thing. Very handy. Uh, profiles are useful for setting up, well, multiple streaming services like Twitch or Hitbox or any live stream service you can think of, YouTube, or setting it up for specific needs like recording to disk for YouTube so you can edit it later, things like that. Very handy. I use them a lot, especially in connection with the scene collections here that we talked about. Uh, it's it's a great way to keep yourself organized and uh, so you don't have a huge list of everything under the sun. That being said, that's really all there is to profiles. Let's move on to plugins. So, what's a plugin? Well, a plugin for OBS expands OBS's functionality, uh, giving it you know features that were not available when you downloaded and installed it. And uh, that's pretty cool in itself. There's all kinds of plugins out there from ones that allow you to uh, overlay your said streaming service such as Hitbox's chat into the stream itself so it displays on top of the video uh, to uh, plugins that allow you to automatically switch your scenes depending on what you're doing so you can be recording a game or streaming a game and say you need to tab out to look at something you alt tab out it will switch automatically switch to maybe a desktop view if you choose so or like I have a setup for mine it tabs to a screen that says we'll be right back you know I'm busy, I'm doing something, be right back, stay tuned. Cool, so where do you get them? Well, we just go over here, let's back up my browser, to open broad, or obsproject.com, and then we click on the forum link, we go down to plugins, and boom! There is a huge, huge assortment of plugins, as I said. You know, there's a couple pages of them. All right, so for this tutorial, we are going to download the plugins that I use to display my chat on top of my stream. We are going to download this CLR browser plugin source or browser source plugin, which it, the other plugin I need uses this. This plugin by itself does nothing. Think of it as a support tool because that's what it does. It supports the other plugins. 
Uh, not all of them require this, but uh, quite a few of them do. And then we're going to grab this Desert Karn IRC plugin. Cool. One thing to note is not all the plugins will work for both versions of OBS. There are specific plugins for the 32 bit version or the 64 bit version, whichever one you choose to use as uh, OBS installs both of them. By default, the shortcut it gives you on the desktop is to the 32 bit version, so that's what we're going to work with today. All right. So I have taken the liberty of already downloading these. Uh, as you can see, there's download buttons right here from the forum pages. And I've downloaded them and already extracted them to my desktop. Cool. So here is the CLR host plugin. And then right here is Desert Karn IRC. All right, awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to where we have OBS installed for this tutorial version of it. I have it installed just straight to my C drive, OBS, and then I have both the 32-bit and the 64-bit in the same folder. Okay, so we open up the 32-bit folder, and you'll notice there's plugin data and plugins. Consider plugin data ancient, powerful voodoo forbidden. Do not mess with that folder. If you do, I will pop up magically on your screen go, ha ha, told you so. All right, moving along. So we have uh, we go into the plugins folder and then we're going to take this one and we are going to copy this just right in there and paste it. Boom, simple as that. Yes. What are we doing here? See where I was plugging? Skip. All right. So there we are. I already had it in here. That's the reason you saw that. That was my bad. Uh, this is again. I think I'm on take five of, uh, of this uh, tutorial. Anyway, so I already had that one in here. Let's check and see if I installed the other one. No, it's not in here. So this other one comes with install instructions. I already know how to set it up, so we're not really going to read through this. It does have a link to the CLR host plugin. If you don't already, you know, if you didn't download it, you have a link right here to download it. Uh, make sure you're, if you're using this, read those instructions. They are useful. Otherwise, you're going to be pulling your hair out going, why isn't this working? Neo said it was this simple. Neo also says, read the instructions. They are important. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go into the 32-bit version of this plugin. We're going to copy it like last time. We're just going to paste it inside the CLR host plugins folder like that. And we're done. Plugins are installed. We can close these windows, get rid of them. We do not need them anymore. So most plugins will show up under the sources list. If you go to add, you know, you'll see the plugin here. In this case, you don't. And that's because to get OBS to realize that there is something new that it can do, you need to restart it if you already had it open. Now under sources, if we click add, boom, there we go. Desert Car and Iron Sea. And we're just going to do that. It opens up the settings. By default, this does only, by default, it's set up to connect to Twitch. Cool. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, it, you can choose custom, and which will allow you to enter in your own IRC servers to connect to. We're not going to go through the configuration of this today. If you do want to see how to set this up, configure it, and get it working on your stream and you're having problems leave a comment below i will be happy to go over it with you and show you exactly how to get this set up uh, beyond that that's really it for plugins there's a bunch of them out there you just got to kind of pick and choose what you want what you think is cool what you think is useful and yeah, it's a pretty simple straightforward to install them as you saw all right guys that is it for this tutorial i hope you found this useful and you learned something Leave a comment below, let me know what you think of these tutorials thus far, and if there's anything specifically you want me to cover for streaming or the setup of Open Broadcaster, please, again, in the comments down there below, uh, let me know, and I will be happy to go over it with you guys. Until next time, this is Neo, and uh, have fun. Thanks for checking out my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share it with your friends and family. And until next time, have some fun, and I'll see you later.